If you are the kind of tourist who only wants to see the other touristy stuff that other tourists see, then you better skip this video because it's not gonna be for you. This video is for people who want to discover something new. This video is about one of the coolest cities we have in our country, about Brno. Despite the fact that Czech Republic is a landlocked country, we have a new sea here in Brno. This square was recently reconstructed and they've added this new fountain or a swimming pool or as the locals say, a sea. So if you're here in the hot summer months, you'll see a lot of kids and people hanging around, putting their toes into the water, enjoying a drink from the nearby coffee place and I absolutely love it. If I compare it to the main square in Prague, the city where I'm from, and the fountain that we have there, it's like very poor compared to this. Uh, so absolutely love it. If you happen to be here in the winter, don't worry, this will be open, except people will not be swimming, but ice skating. And this is only one of the many cool things you're about to see in Brno. I've been to this square in Brno many, many times, usually to that Nastojaka pub that is one of my favorite. But there's a little secret to this square and it lies underground. Let's check it out. We are under the St. Jacob Church in an ossuary, this uh, room of bones. Uh, and I just found out as I went down from the guide here that believe it or not, but this place was only discovered in 2001 when a construction worker accidentally fell through the ground. And when he looked around, there were bones all around him. He probably fell into something like this because this is what this room used to look like. Then they stacked up the bones. They had to move most of them out. There were more than 50,000 remains of people here. Now there's about uh, 7,000. And uh, the reason there's bones and skulls is because obviously there was a graveyard next to the church, but as the graveyard filled up, they had to move the bones from the graveyard somewhere else and eventually a law in the city said no more graveyards in the city so all the bones were moved here and now it's open to you to the public and it is really something there's only three places like these uh, in our country so you should visit if you happen to be hungry in the city of Brno I know a place that may solve that problem Last time we were filming in Brno, here at the cabbage market, admiring some cabbage and tomatoes, a guy from this food truck yelled at us and he said, hey dudes, come have a burger. And we're like, oh man, we can now, next time. And now is the next time. So we ordered this little baby burger, uh, also some fries, and I cannot wait to try it. These guys have been making burgers for some time, so they know how to make it. It's awesome. Um, the only problem is that the market here is called cabbage. Therefore, I'm renaming it to the burger market. There is a beautiful gallery in the city of Brno called the Moravian Gallery. We already showed it to you. Typical gallery building inside some cool art. But there's a new gallery in town called the City Gallery and it has art all around the city. For example, right there, a piece by my favorite artist Krzysztof Kintera. It says, I'm still working on myself. We're in a part of Brno that is called the Brno Bronx and there's many of these art pieces around. So you can take a stroll from the city center. It's a five minute walk and look around and see if you can find all the 13 pieces there are. <laughs> What's the other piece we want to show you? It is this one, Pater Noster. I hope you know what this represents, the non-stop running elevator. We'll get to that. But once you stroll around the area here, you definitely should also stop at a place called Kaznice. And if you're lucky, you'll hit it during some event. There's usually music events and so on. We were lucky enough to discover this whole place. That was a formal jail. Back to the non-stop running elevator, you can here not only see it as a painting on the building, but in Brno they do have a real one just around the corner from here. 
In Brno, you can still admire this technical masterpiece called Pater Noster, the non-stop elevator, for free. Unlike in Prague, where the city decided to charge for the entrance and build barriers. Uh, not on the city hall in Brno. A beauty. There is one unique thing at the city hall in Brno, and that is you can actually see the elevator from the other side. So you can see how the cabins uh, at the end do not flip upside down, but they just sort of move. And it's the first time I'm actually seeing it from the other side and it's really cool. Man, I just love this city. But no. The city of Brno is full of amazing spots, bistros, bars, restaurants, but how to find the best ones? Well, we usually give tips based on our friends that live in Brno when we ask them and they give us a recommendation or a suggestion. But there's one more friend that we use all the time and that is this gourmet guide. Uh, there's a new one every year, so when you visit it will look a bit different, but the idea is that there's um, different chapters, so there's restaurants, there's bistros, there's bars, uh, pubs, uh, coffee places. I take guides, book guides, wherever I go, every city I visit, I go to the information center and I must say, hats down, that Brno has the best guides there are. So take one in the info center and then you can find a place like this, which is Bistro France. I had it stored in my maps for uh, quite some time. I got some spaghetti, Honza got a typical Czech Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> and a potato salad. So let's dig in. It looks amazing. Yeah, you can trust this guy. Yannick POV. This guide also exists in the online world, so you can check it before you come to Brno. And there's also a map of all the places we visited under the video. Now let's move on. When you arrive to Brno, make sure to stop at their info center because they do have the second coolest guide in the world. The first one is us. Uh, and once you're here, you're gonna notice this alligator crocodile that in Brno, for some reason, they call a dragon. And there's this whole mystery story behind it. And also, there's a weird story. Why is there this wheel and why is it cult? So if you wanna find out, you gotta to go to the basement of not this building, but a building around the corner where there are different films and in the underground, they will explain you all these stories. What they will not explain you there, which I'm about to explain you right now, is what does this switch do? It turns off the light. <laughs> but please don't, don't push it because then the dragon magically disappears. <laughs> One place that we're gonna show you is actually missing in this guide, but it was mentioned under our recent video where we were looking for the best chlebiček in Prague. And many people wrote to us, oh, the best chlebiček in Prague is impossible to find because the best chlebiček is in Brno. And it's right here, so uh, let's go sample it. Some locals just told us, oh, you guys gotta go in, it's the best. There you go, my man. Two chlebičky, open face sandwiches, ham and cheese. I asked about the ham, she said, yeah, that's our topka, which in Czech means our top. <laughs> the people in the comments were right. This is the best chlebiče. It's loaded, man. Wow. That behind me, Villa Tugendhat, is not only a jewel uh, of architecture from Brno or our country, it's a world jewel by Mies van der Rohe. If you want to go inside, you have to buy a ticket, uh, make sure you reserve in advance because it's sometimes hard to get in. Or you can watch a video by our friend Adam Gebrian, who's an architect and he walked through the entire uh, place with a camera. But there's a new thing right now and you can see a lot of people around the garden and it's because the garden is now accessible to everyone for free. No need for a ticket, no need to pay. The gate is simply opened so you can walk in and admire uh, the villa from the outside. And the open garden of the Villa Tugendhat is not the only new thing. Another villa opened its gates, as you can see, so you can freely continue to the Villa Lefbert. Uh, cheers, Honza. We just landed at a place that mixes two things we film our videos about mostly, and that is beer and exchange offices. This is sort of an exchange pub 
because the price of the beer changes throughout the day. Right now, I paid for this beer 2.1 euros, but the price today changed a lot. The maximum price was three euros and the minimum price was 1.87 euros. And you can see it live here on the tablet in front. Like right now, the price dropped because somebody else ordered a different beer. And so I, it's kind of complicated. I guess you just drink beer and you watch the board and you're like, oh, wow, so I'm losing gaming money. It's kind of fun for people who love math. You'll have a good time here, I promise. <laughs> Dude, it just dropped. We promise to show you something non-touristy, something authentic, and I hope we delivered. If there's something Brno does not have, it's the mass tourism that is destroying a lot of places around the world. So you can enjoy it as a solo or a couple tourists, and I bet you, you will have a good time. I come here quite often, not only to film videos, but this time we came here mainly because we were invited by the city of Brno to make this guide. So make sure you grab their guide that they made, uh, and I really hope you will enjoy it. Only two and a half hours from Prague on a train. That's it from us, The Honest Guides. If you've been to Brno and you have some other tips, uh, maybe you can write them in the comments below and you can go look there for some other tips. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next week. And in the end, as always, I'm gonna teach you a Czech sentence this time. And that is, uh, if somebody is gonna tell you here in Prague, Pater Noster je zavřený. Pokud se chcete svést, musíte do Brna. It means the Pater Noster here in Prague is closed. If you want to ride it, you have to go to Brno. Pater Noster v Praze je zavřený. Pokud se chcete svést, musíte do Brna. <laughs>